Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Terraria. So today we're gonna probably be doing some boss fights. I am pretty much almost completely ready for some boss fights, but um, I want to look into something. I don't think I have enough. I don't think I have enough for what I want to do. Hmm. Let's grab some dirt. So, I had a suspicion for a little while now. Because I've been, you know how I've been getting the stars up here on this bridge? I don't think I went high enough. So I'm going to do something. A star fell, fall, fell there. But something, like, it just, I always feel like right up this direction, I have not found anything. Like, no stars in this general area. So I'm going on a hunch right now. Now, apparently the Cthulhu might come out. Um, I have Cthulhu might come out randomly at, during this night. So if it does, I'll have to jump down from this thing and try it later. But... This is just an idea, and I'm right. Oh, I am totally right. This is where the floating island is. Okay, it is right up here. Wow, I was actually completely right. Oh my god, clouds. Cloud blocks. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> cloud blocks. This is new, though. They didn't have these on floating islands before. The cloud blocks. Okay, so I'm obviously gonna want to pop out. I'm obviously gonna end up popping out the top here. So I'm gonna need to... Look at the tungsten ore. Don't worry about getting the tungsten ore, because I will. Oh, okay, but this is nice. What is this? Sunday block? I'll have to mine up most of this later, but I'm going to loot. Shiny red balloon. Increase the jump height. All right, let's go. I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to get the rest of that later. All right. Well, it's nighttime. Yeah, it's not the beginning of the night, so I'm probably gonna want to wait for another nighttime unless the Eye of Cthulhu comes out uh, on its own. I believe it'll do that. Uh, once every couple nights. Hi, Shackle. I haven't seen enough of you. Yeah, I, ha I did get the message while I was playing that the, uh, the, like, the message that you would get for the Isle of Cthulhu. Whew. Almost died again there. Now get rid of all this dirt. Don't need it. I know. I know where uh, floating island is now. I can find it whenever I want. So we're gonna get ready to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Pretty, pretty much within the next day. So, I am going to skip over this night, and I will come back to you guys when it is the next night, and uh, when we're ready to actually fight the dangerous and awesome. I have But until then, guys, I will be preparing.
waiting for the next day so we can start the fight at the beginning of the night. So, I'll be back in a bit. Alright guys, so we're back and we're gonna fight the Eye of Cthulhu now. So, I'm ready. I'm gonna get one suspicious looking eye. I have Cthulhu has awoken. I got myself a space gun by the way. I forgot health potions, so I'm gonna have to do this entirely off. Oh. Thank god I didn't just use the space gun. Or I would be screwed right now. Okay, so the eye of Cthulhu isn't doing too much damage to me right now, so I can handle it. Dropping his little guys now. So just gun time. Thank god I got this gun though, because this gun does quite a bit of damage, even though it doesn't fire quite as fast. And it does use am ammo. Whoa! We got him, guys. And we got our 43 Crimtain ore. Whew! We beat the Eye Cthulhu. We could probably take him again. To be honest. We've got full health. Um, we could go for some more Crimtain Ore. Let's go again. So the space gun doesn't do as much damage, but it does use mana. Okay. Alright. the space gun because the space gun um, fires faster and because it only uses mana we don't have to worry about running out of ammo although we do have to run worry about running out of mana because that is happening quite often actually. but we get mana back quickly from his minion guys dropping it Alright, now we have to focus entirely on the normal gun instead of the space gun. Because the space gun won't do it anymore as of this point. Can't rely on the space gun anymore, so we have the normal gun and. Come on. Boom. There we go. That right there is two of those guys at in one day. One night, really. So let's just make sure we got everything. I'll put this stone block in that trash. I think that was good enough. I don't think we need to fight any more for tonight. I think we should go and smelt up this Crimtain ore and see what we get from it. Lock off the door, just because the door is annoying to have to deal with. 
So, let's do a quick stack. Alright, so, we do a quick stack, let's grab out the rest of this crimtain, or we can leave two, the two pieces of crimtain in there. So, we have 26 bars of crimtain. What can you make with crimtain? Ooh, blood butcher, which is a nice weapon. Uh... Axe power and a bow. Now, what else can be made uh, with this stuff? If I had wood in my inventory, I could see the other tools. Angel statue, you say? Okay. So now let's grab some wood from somewhere, anywhere. Here we go. There we go. That sh Hmm, let's see what crimtain can be used for. Crafting. Crimtain bars. Okay, here we go. Oh, it needs tissue samples. Grinder, all right, pickaxe, able to mine hellstone. That's what we want. Or I could always make crimson arm. But everything requires tissue samples, which we get from the brain of Cthulhu, which is the next one. So I could make these weapons. A 19 damage ranged bow. Hmm. A nice axe. I can make two of these. And a blood butcherer. Hmm. Well, beating the Eye Cthulhu was really easy. So I'm not, like, worried about how, like, how much effort it's gonna take to beat him again and get more of the Crimtain Ore. That should be easy. So I'm gonna go... I don't wanna grab the blood butcherer, even though I'm not using those kinds of weapons. Um... I know I didn't use the bow. I don't really use a bow now that I have. <sighs> Blood Butcher. Hmm. With this rotted fork, it's all I've been using lately. Alright, I'm gonna hold off on using my Crimtain Ore. Maybe. Actually, I'm gonna probably fi fight another Eye Cthulhu off camera. So, boom, get rid of that bow. Boom, get rid of this zombie arm thing. In fact, let's frickin' sell the zombie arm thing so I don't end up using it again. Boom, platinum bow, don't need it. Obelisk, no value, okay. Well,. There we go. Plus three critical strike chance. Oh, and that's a nice big sword, too. Okay. I can deal with that. So we are going to need to get some tissue samples. Which means we are going to have to fight the brain of Cthulhu pretty dang soon. So, I will be doing that. Just not this... Not too, too soon. Yeah, we will get to that eventually. But until then, I think... You know what? Rich mahogany platforms. Whatever. The Dryad has arrived. Now, how has the Dryad arrived? What is it that the Dryad sells again? Ah, yes, purification powder. Grass wall, flower wall. Dirt rod, magically moves dirt. 
sunflowers, then there's normal grass seeds, which is very nice. Purification powder. Cleanses the corruption. That's nice. All right. You stay where you are, Dryad. I am going over to this corruption area over here so that I can prepare a fighting arena for when we have to fight the next boss, which is going to end up being the Brain of Cthulhu. Which is probably going to be really annoying to f have to fight, but um, we do have to fight him if we want to... Uh, if we want to make tools, and if we want to get the next step up. So, I know the area I'm going to inhabit. I just need to get there, and I, I think I already started, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, I did start. So, I'm gonna want to get these plat- ooh! That's fun. That's fun. Well... Maybe I should also get some- Really, the one thing I didn't get was an axe. That was probably the thing that would've helped me the most in this situation. Would have been an axe, so I could get more wood. But whatever. I'll just cut down whatever trees are over here. Whatever. And then I can make some awesome stuff, so we can have a night, so we can have another boss battle next episode. Yeah, that's good enough. Now, I'll get, now, I can, now I have some wood to get some more platforms from. Nah, space gun is where it's at. But any I could fool with the space gun was actually really easy. I am so glad I crafted that with whatever meteorite I happened to get. I still got more platforms to place. Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, there's a lot of blood crawlers coming for me. Can I, like, maybe finish this? Or am I absolutely not allowed? I'm not allowed. Ugh. Fighting the Brain of Cthulhu is gonna be a pain unless I can get those platforms up, though. So, I'll get them up. I will. I will get it done. Maybe not this episode, because obviously I am failing miserably. But, I will eventually. Hmm. Ooh, my mouse stopped moving for a second. That was not good. Woo, hopping. Down in the giant cave. I'll be able to fight the brain of Cthulhu. And it'll be a good day.
Oh my god. What? Okay, I think the bow with the arrows is the best way to go. These are some pretty expensive arrows, though. They take stars to craft them. Oh, when I wanted vertebrae, I should have just gone down here. Seriously. What the hell? So, now that I've got this system set up, or at least one platform of the very many I'm going to need, maybe now I, I would be partially ready to attempt fighting the, the brain of Cthulhu. But still not yet. Because I need another platform. Oh, look at this. Another platform. This is to once again help me fight. Oh, and I. And would you look at that? I didn't even do it right. I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Terraria. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, rate it some sort. I always appreciate it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, yeah, goodbye. That's all I got. All I got for you. Hmm. Yeah, goodbye.